Hello YouTube and welcome back to the latest ABC League Battle video on the channel. Now it's week number four and our current record is 1-3. Which isn't the best, not going to lie, but... Well, I mean, there's not else you're supposed to expect from me, where is it? It's either going to be below average, terrible, or it's going to be average. It's never going to be a good record, so that's how it is. But today we are up against the, uh, the New York... Blue Phoenixes, New Jersey, New Blue, Blue Phoenixes, should I say, coached by um, Blue Phoenix. Um, I, I think I've only battled him in ABC Week One. I, if I do, if I'm, if I'm incorrect about it, please let me know in the comment section down below. But I think I battled him Week One in um, ABC Season One. I think I won like three or four nil because I think that was his first ever league. So, and he, and from what I remember, I think he's only ever competed in this and in ZUL. So. Not the, like the um, most league experience, but he is a good battler nonetheless um, from what I've seen of him from the previous weeks on in the uh, league. So um, his team, as you can see, is uh, Kieran Black, Reuniclus, Tapufini, Tyranitar, Mian Shao, Escavalier, Sandslash, Sceptile, Moltres, Regigutius, Plusle and Mega Aerodactyl. And his Z uses and his Z crystals are Isium and Bugginium. So um, yeah... Most of his threats was obviously Kieran Black. Reunicus is my boy. Tapu Fini is my gal. Uh, Titar is going to be a problem because it doesn't it make trying to boost Aerodactyl's um, special defense as well. So that could be an issue as well. So, um, yeah. So that's his team. And as you can see by the lovely, uh, the lovely showdown, you can see our team. And our first mon is Earth Puke, our Heatran, who is rocking Air Balloon with Flash Fire, with Flash Cannon, Lava Plume, Earth Power, and Stealth Rocks, with Max HP, Max a Special Attack, Modest Nature. Now, um, Front Office suggested to run Air Balloon on it, so I could freely switch into it um, against the, I think, the uh, an Earth Power from Q and Black. I think that was the reason. Obviously, this, this battle was done freaking yonks ago, so I can't remember everything specifically, but... I think it was for that, because if it's swapping into a Tyranitar would be stupid. It's maybe for Sand Slash and Flash Cannon kills it, but it's probably mainly for Q and Black, predicting an Earth Power. So I'd switch into Earth Puke and on Earth Power, um, and then Flash Cannon it to death. So that's probably the reason why it's Air Balloon. Um, obviously, we've got Stealth Rocks as well, because Stealth Rocks is a good option for this team, because barring um, he's got Rapid Spin Sand Slash, he's got Defog Tapu Fini, he's got. I think that's his like primarily um, hazard removal. So both of those don't, don't really have the best matchup against the uh, uh, Heatran, but it's here what it is. If if we can get the rocks up and both those are, threats are gone, then we can put in work with um, Earth Puke. Next up, we have uh, Susie, our Gotharita, rocking leftovers with Shadow Tag, rocking Taunt, Shadow Ball, Calm Mind, and Psychic. Rocking Max HP, Max Special Attack, Modest Nature. Now, this thing is to trap in, I do so believe, um, it was, it was tra to trap something, and I can't remember what it was. Was it Reuniclus? Was it Reuniclus? Because Reuniclus can just calm mind on me and go for Shadow Ball. But I can do the same thing. So I, got I think it is, so I can taunt the um, Reuniclus. So it, could, so it can only attack me with... Psychic, or it's probably, it's probably going to be run Psychic Focus Blast because I've got likes of Heatran and whatnot, and obviously Sneasel as well. Um, it's probably got Calm, those two moves, Calm Mind and Recover. So if I can outspeed it, which I do with Susie, taunt it, it can only go for those two moves, and I can start setting up against it as much as I can, and then Shadow Ball it and blow, this, blow the uh, Runicus back. So that's, I think. If I remember correctly, that's the main reason that Susie was brought this week. Now, next up, we've got Choice Scarfed uh, Sneasel. This is to outspeed uh, Mega Aerodactyl. So, we can outspeed Mega Aerodactyl and kill for an Icicle Crash because Choice Band Ice Shard doesn't knock it out, but Choice Scarf Icicle Crash does. So, that's absolutely amazing. So, if we can outspeed him with Icicle Crash, we've got Poison Jab for likes of the... Uh, Tapu Fini, more likely to twitch in onto this team. We've got Knock Off as well for Stab as well. And we've got Low Kick for likes of the Tyranitar. I think just for Tyranitar, really. And the Q and Black. And the Regigigas. So, yeah. Um, so, Sneasel should be able to potentially put in work this week. Hopefully, it can. Because I enjoy using Sneasel. And hopefully, it can put in the work this week. Next up, we've got our gal, Bokeh, our Floor Jez, with Leftovers, with Wish Moonblast, Engine Ball Protect. 
rocking max HP, max special defense, calm nature. This is just pretty much be our wish support special wall for all these special hits. So you have the special hits from the likes of the Q and Black, the Reuniclus, the Tapafini, the Sceptile, the Plusle, and whatnot. We've got Enjival as well because Tapafini is probably going to be again the switch into this thing. Um, because if we just got Rocking Moonblast, it's, I think, fair resist itself. Or it's going to do absolutely nothing because Tapafini is quite bulky as well. So if we can get an Enjival off, that'd be amazing. Uh, we can wish support to, heal, to make Susie healthy as possible, to make. Uh, puke as healthy as possible to make squirt as well and photocopy and whatnot so floor jays is here hopefully he can put in the work this week next up we have squirt our mega blastoise with ice beam water pulse aura sphere and dark pulse with 152 hp 252 defense 100 special attack uh modest nature this is to make sure we can live a hit i do so believe from the um i think this is a live a hit from the cure black as in a um, what an extra type move does he get? Fusion is it Fusion Bolt? I think it's Fusion Bolt. I think we live a Fusion Bolt from Kim Black if he's not a Calm Mindset or Choice Bandit or Choice Scarf or whatever, just the leftovers or whatever set. I think we live a, a um, Fusion Bolt and we can Oko, I think, with Aura Sphere in return. So that is amazing. Um, Ice Beam is there for likes of the Aerodactyl and whatnot. What Pulse is there for Stab and Dark Pulse is there for that Reuniclus. Now, last but not least, we've got Photocopy, our Ditto, rocking Quick Claw with Imposter, rocking 248 HP, 252 Defense, obviously in pitch, doesn't really matter. The main one is the HP stat. Um, we haven't brought a specific um, Hidden Power for some reason. I don't think he has any potential Hidden Power users on his team, looking at the team. Maybe he might have one on Reuniclus, but even if even still, we'd have HP Dark because we're max, max um, yeah, IVs. So, yeah, we're rocking Quick Claw because he has... Obviously, um, he's got the fast mons in Q and Black and whatnot, but he's got the bulky mons as well. So, with a chance to outspeed with the Quick Claw, and if we copy his slower mons, we can switch up the moves and just be scour his team and what you not, as you do with a with a, a Ditto. So that is our team for this week. Now, let's jump into the battle, and we are back. And as you can see, he has brought Tapu Fini, uh, Kieran Black, Sceptar, Reuniclus, Torrental, and Reggie Gigas, and well, uh, the first thing I see is Feeny Sceptile, which I've used in PBAL, I think week three, and it came in. Oh, I did No, I brought Cell Battery Sceptile. That's what I brought. So Unburdened. I know. I know Unburdened Sceptile can put in work. So that's a real problem if that can get that off. Um, Reuniclus is as always going to be a spulky. App. If he if he's got Trick Room on that thing, it could, could potentially put the one against my team. Uh, Kieran Black's always obviously a problem. Tarantar's always a problem. And he's got Reggie Gigas, which can potentially also be a problem. So he didn't bring the Mega Aerodactyl. He didn't bring the... Uh, what was the other one? What was the other one? What was the other one? Me and Xiao. He didn't bring Moltres. He didn't bring Sand Slash. I thought... It, so his only defogger is the Feeny. So if we can get rid of the Feeny, we can get Rocks up. And it'll do damage to likes of... Definitely pin the Kieran Black switching out and whatnot. So let's jump into the game and see... Remind myself of what actually happened. So I leave with photocopy versus Tarantar because I thought that was the most logical lead to like scour what um, moves the Tarantar had. I obviously can't remember what moves it had because you can't check. But I think it had, um, I think it was a, yeah, it was a Stealth Rock variant of Tarantar. So I knew to just go for Stealth Rock. So I switched out into Blastoise, predicting that. So he just goes for a Stroud Earthquake. So I wasn't expecting that at all, honestly. So he goes down to Tapu Fini. As I mega, I think I mega evolve and go for the Aura Sphere. I don't know why I went for Aura Sphere because I was like, obvious he'd go out and do Tapafini against that thing. So he goes for the Taunt on his Tapafini, which is a good bring by him um, on the uh, floor just switch in. So now all I can do is Energy Ball it. And if you switch it out into Rage Gigas, go for the Energy Ball. Does literally nothing to Rage Gigas. Which does absolutely nothing at all to that Rage Gigas. So I switch it out into Mega Blastoise, trying to try and get an Aura Sphere off it. So Rage Gigas goes for Block. I'm thinking, right, Reggie Gigas is pro was probably designed there to go into, um, to taunt the with the, the floor jays, go out into Reggie Gigas, block it, so I'm trapped in, and all I can hit it with is Edge of All the Moonblast, which is going to do absolutely nothing to it, giving them, the, giving them the chance to get his act together, and then sweep the team. So, that's probably what his game plan was there, but it didn't really pay off because I switched out to make a Blastoise on the block. So I go for the Dark Pulse, 
predicting him to go into the Unicorn, picking another Aura Sphere. But he doesn't, he goes into Feeny. So I go back out into Floor uh, gets a special attack drop, which is very unfortunate. So he switches out into Reggie. Well, I think I'll go for Wish this turn. Yeah, I'll go for Wish, and I think I go out into Sneasel? No, Mega Blastoise. I go out into Mega Blastoise. He goes out into Sceptile. So I heal up all the way back up to full health. So I go out to Dare, predicting to Leaf Storm me. He doesn't, he goes for Leech Seed. And I, I think I realised that this thing had only had Leech Seed, Synthesis, uh, Leaf Storm, and I think... Was the last move, like... I can't remember what the last move was. It definitely wasn't... Oh, what was the last move on it? Was it Dragon Pulse or something like that? Because I know Sceptile doesn't get the biggest move point. It, did, it definitely wasn't the Hidden Power. I think it was either Dragon Pulse or Focus Blast. It was one of the two. So I go into Floyd just knowing it can't really touch me. So he goes for, uh, Protect was the last move, okay. So he goes for Leech Seed on the floor, just I go for Moonblast, like to see how much damage it does. Gets special attack drop and does like 36%. So I think I switch out, no, he switch out into the Uniclus, and I think I go out into Mega Blastoise once again. As I go for, he switches out into Feeny. I think, do I go for Dark, yeah. I, I literally in this game, I wasn't like thinking like what he would actually go into. So he goes for the Z-Haste to heal up his Tabafini back up to full health. As I start going for warp pulses against it. So I thought he'd switch out that turn. But you get, so you moon blast me. As you go down to Reggie Gigas on the on the on the uh, bouquet, just to prevent me from doing any shenanigans with, with block, obviously. So I go into Sneasel as he goes for the substitute. I'm like, okay, this Reggie Gigas is now starting to become a problem for me. So I I get a low kick as he goes for drain punch. And he okos me. And I'm thinking, uh, I had to break the sub, otherwise this Reggie Gigas could potentially sweat me. So I had to break the sub with low kick, and as he drain punched me. And now I go into Mega Blastoise, praying to God that Aura Sphere would kill this thing. Because I think that's what thing I was going to go for. So I, no, I go for War Pulse. Because I didn't think he'd stay in, knowing I'd already revealed Aura Sphere. Like, he knows I've got Aura Sphere. I've clicked it before. I thought, oh, he's going to go out into Reuniclus, put it in the Aura Sphere. Or Tapu Fini. So I have to go for Water Pulse. He doesn't. I don't get the confusion. And I think he goes for, he goes for Sub again. And I'm like, okay. Okay. This Reggie Gigas is starting to be a problem. So I go for Aura Sphere this turn. As he goes for Drain Punch. Which does literally a zero to Mega Blastoise. Which is very convenient to me. So he goes for the Return. Does, what, 41%. I go for the Aura Sphere. Does 57%. So if I Aura Sphere the, the turn before. Um, instead of Water Pulse. Then... I would have killed that thing. I would have killed it. I would have killed it. But I go for Warp Pulse to, to, just to make sure he, don't, he didn't switch out. So I go into Focop because it pretty much wall Sceptile with his moveset he's brought on his Sceptile. So Quick Claw pops as you go for the, I go for the Giga Drain. He goes for Leech Seed again. So we're just stuck in this battle of like, what's going to happen, what's going to happen because it's that Earthquake. That was his final move. That was his final move. I completely forgot all his moveset. I'm sorry. I'm actually sorry. So I go into Heat Train. Now I've got Air Balloon. So... I can easily do that, and any grass I move he's going to go for is going to be... So I go into Floor Jets, him to switch out. He doesn't, he just goes to Protect. So he goes for the Earthquake, does nothing to Floor Jets, because obviously Floor Jets is bulky. Gets the Moonblast, gets the Special Attack Drop again. Which is, which is very unfortunate of him. He goes for Elite Seed, as I wish... I think I wish back out into Ditto? Gotharita. He goes for Giga Drain, does not a lot of damage, to be quite honest. So Sceptile's trapped in against me. So I go into Heat Tram, predicting to go for a, I don't know. He goes for Protect, he goes into Feeny. I think I'll go for Flash Cannon this time. Stealth Rocks. I get my Rocks up eventually at turn 33, which is absolutely ridiculous. So I go into Tapu Feeny. He goes for Surf, which is literally zero, because it's a Tapu Feeny. So I taunt the Tapu Feeny. Just because I wanted to, to be honest. So I go into Floor Jazz, he goes for Surf. And this gives you a perfect opportunity to wish health up back onto someone. So I think I'll go for Wish this turn. Yeah, I do. Tyrantar comes out and try and keep myself healthy. He reveals the Iron Head on the Tyrantar, which I should have really known already because I was I copied it turn one. So I go into Ditto, opening to Iron Head me, which does stupid amount of damage. And I'm thinking, okay, great. And I didn't win the speed tie. And I'm like, <laughs> fantastic. Luck is always on my side. So I go to Heat Trans, he goes for the Crunch. Pops my balloon. I think I go for flash cannon. Does a solid amount of damage. So I go to floor jumping to go for an earthquake or a crunch or something. Gets a crit on the earthquake. 
I'm like, bruh, 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 bruh. Now this, now this Tyrantar can just sweep my entire team because it outspeeds everything. Everything's at low health, which could potentially live to hit, and it just sweeps my team. So kills that. Gonna kill the kill the Mega Blaster because it outspeeds it. Gonna kill the Heatran because it outspeeds it, and gonna kill Gothari because it outspeeds it. So yeah, Tyrantar just swept my team, literally like legit, which is very annoying because um. There was the speed tight miss. I mean, that's that's what that's the risk you play with Ditto if you don't have the um, choice scarf on it. The speed tight is like killer. It literally is killer. But if you can't bring choice scarf every single week, because if he's got like bulky, if it's a bulkier team and you slap choice scarf and everything, then if you go into like a ferrof form with choice scarf, then it's like what's the point? So as you do, and then the the, the crit on floor judge was actually. Big as well. I mean, it wasn't really because he could just iron head the next thing. He had sped me, but I don't know. I think I might have lived two iron heads, but probably not. I could have moon blast it, some some chip on it, maybe. I don't know. But GG to Blue Phoenix. His link will be down in the description, and his side of the video should be up at some point. So you should definitely go check that out when that goes live. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe as always. Uh, next week we are playing the. Who are we playing next week? Who are we playing next week? We are playing the uh, Yo Veltor Town. And that, that I've already played that game, and that's going to be an interesting one. So you should definitely go check out when that drops, hopefully sometime next week. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!